welcome to Perfect Meals Chef Video Series. Here we are today with my grandmother and we're making her famous chocolate chip cookies. Okay, okay. well, I, uh, it's important that your shortening is soft. So I had it on the cupboard here for a little bit and I have a fourth of a cup of butter and a, not a fourth of a cup, a fourth pound of butter and a half a cup of Crisco. And I'll blend it together. It's important that it's soft, otherwise it's, it's a, little, a little hard to thaw it and you have your ingredient, other ingredients in there. Um, now I'll add a, one cup of light brown sugar. It's firmly packed. And I like the light brown sugar better than the dark. And you pack it down. And you jump. Then I need a half a cup of white sugar. sugar and the butter and the shaking. Mix. It's, not, it's uh, important to blend it, but it's not good. It has to be mixed that thoroughly. Okay, and now I gotta get some eggs. Two large eggs. They say it's an, a good idea to Keep your eggs in the room temperature for a little bit. I never do it, but I guess maybe there's a reason for it. Two eggs. And I'm going to thoroughly mix that again. Then I, um, I've been making cookies for many, many years, and the chocolate chip seems to be the most popular. And because I always thought they were too sweet and the children liked it, I thought, well, let's put a little oatmeal in there. It's a good nutritious food, good for the kids, and they liked it just as well, so I continued using it, putting three quarter cups of quick Quaker oats, three quarters cup, and I put that in right away to so it blends. Then I time to put the flour. 